Our Bible study today is about the spirit and soul and body. From 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 23. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God of your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now humanity and Christians proclaim, and then yes, even I have, body, soul, and spirit. However, the Holy Spirit defines it as spirit, soul, and body in our King James Bibles. We are in error if we do not quote the scriptures correctly and with exact context. Both genders pose a spirit, possesses a spirit, soul, and body. Many well-read and ignorant individuals who are unaware of gender differences do not understand what a man is. With a spirit, soul, and body, a male is a male and a female is a female. And sorry that that has to be said today. Now God has a body. Jesus Christ. God has a soul. God the Father. God has a spirit. The Holy Spirit. So God the Father. The Lord Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit. This is why the scripture proclaims that man was made in the image of God. Genesis 1.27 a lot of pastors, instructors, and Christians make a mistake when it comes to this concept of God. They are ignorant or ignore the fact that there are two sexes in order to, cre to create the illusion that the modern man resembles God. You see, they will say, well, oh, man is made in the image of God. Okay. So what do you do with br blonde, brown, black, red, gray, or white hair? There are five primary categories na natural hair color. Okay, so we are in the image of God. <laughs> what color is the hair of God? There are different... <coughs> Excuse me. There are different colors. Each category has both lighter and deeper tones. There are people with yellow, brown, black, and white skin. We are distinct in colors of the eyes. How then do we resemble God? How can somebody get up before a congregation saying, We are made in the image of God? Really? Really? Psalms 8, 4 in the King James Bible, What is man, that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man, that thou visit him? King David wanted to know what man is. And man is a spirit, a soul, and a body. Now the spirit. John 3, 8. The wind bloweth where it listeth. And thou hearest the sound thereof, but cannot tell whence it cometh, and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit, capital S. The description the Bible gives of a spirit is the wind. This is simple. Okay? You can't see the wind, but you can feel the wind. You can't see the Holy Spirit. But you can feel the Holy Spirit. Ezekiel 37, 9. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, say to the wind. Thus saith the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. And this is the nation of Israel. Ezekiel 37, 14, a little further down. And thou shalt put my spirit 
in you. And ye shall live. This is prophecy of Israel in the millennium. Just before the millennium. The second coming of Jesus Christ. And forever afterwards. I shall place you in your own land, Israel. And shall ye know that the Lord has spoken it. And perform it, saith the Lord. So the Lord said to Ezekiel, prophesied to the four winds, winds, John 3, and ordered the four winds to breathe on the slain. Every human has the same spirit. Okay, we all have breath. We all have lungs. Can't say a set of lungs, because some people are missing lungs. 1 Corinthians 2.11 For what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. So the same spirit in all man is the spirit of man. That's in women and that's in man. Unsaved. You are born with the spirit of of man from God. Every beast or animal has their same spirit. Evolution is wrong because Ecclesiastes chapter 321 Who knows the spirit of man that goes upward goes back to God. Your spirit will go back to God when you die. I didn't say you go to heaven. Your spirit and the spirit of the beast that goeth downward to the earth. When an animal dies, when a kitty cat dies, when a puppy dies, when a kangaroo dies, it goes to the dirt. I'm sorry, there are no dogs in heaven. Your pets don't go to heaven. When they die, they go to the earth. The spirit of the beast. Evolution is a lie and the spirit of man, human, and the spirit of the beast, animals. Human is human, and animal is animal. Simple, according to the Bible. Now, there are four spirits. There is the spirit of God, that's the Holy Spirit. There is the spirit of the devil, which is the unclean spirit. There is the spirit of man, the human. And there is the spirit of beast, animal. And the Spirit of God, the, whole, the Holy Spirit, that is in the people that are saved. The Spirit of man that's in man is a dead spirit. And if you have not been born again, you have not received the Holy Spirit by faith and belief in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, you have a deaf spirit, and you're going to go to hell. If you have the living Spirit, the Holy Spirit, you're going to go to heaven. The spirit of man can be saved or it can be dead. John 3, 5 through 7, Jesus answers it very, very say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of spirit. Water, that's your mother, her water broke. And of the spirit, that's God. He cannot enter the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God. So you got to be born of a, of a human, your mother, and you got to be born of God to go to heaven. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, dead. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit, alive. Marvel not that I say unto you, ye must be born again. Ephesians 2, 1. And you have been, and you have, he quickened. Who were dead in trespasses and sin. So without the Holy Spirit. That spirit you got in you is dead. It ain't going to get you to heaven. Being born again and receiving the Holy Spirit of God. You'll be quickened. You'll be made alive. Whether you be dead you shall rise. Whether you're alive you shall be caught up together with those in the clouds. Now about your soul. Luke 16, 23 and 24. And in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torments, 
and seeth Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom, he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I am tormented in this flame. Now his spirit has gone to back to God. He is in hell. His body is in a grave somewhere. Lazarus' body is in a grave somewhere. So what we're seeing here is the soul of a man that has a tongue. We have the soul of a man that has eyes that can see. We have the soul of a man that can speak. And according to the Bible, the soul is the bodily shape. It just has no substance like God. God is the living soul, but he has no spirit. I mean, excuse me. He has no, he has no structure to his soul. You can't reach out and touch God. While a spirit cannot be seen, a soul can. A soul may have robes on. You refer to someone who entered the room wearing a white robe as a ghost. For this reason, the world creates ghosts based on what the Bible says. The soul is a shape of the body. Revelation 6, 9-11 to And when he had opened the fifth seal, he saw under the altar the souls of, men, of them that were slain, they were killed for the word of God and for the testimony which they had. They cried with a loud voice, they can speak, and they're in heaven, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, does thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto the, every one of them. There's your white robe, Casper. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little while, unto their fellow servants also and their brethren that they should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. So the old time automobile tires is a perfect example. The outside is the rubber that touches the road. Under the rubber is an inner tube. And the inner tube is shape of the tire like your soul the inner tube represents the soul. Just add air, the spirit, and that's what the spirit. Three separate items, rubber, the inner tube, and air. As God is a spirit, soul, and body, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the image for which man is a spirit, soul, and body that's the image of God that man is. I don't look like God and God don't look like me. God don't look like you and you don't look like God. But we have the spirit, the soul, and the body that the Trinity has and we have. You are dead if you have never been born again. Your spirit will return back to God Ecclesiastes. But your soul will be in hell and will have all its facilities. People will be talking in hell. People will be crying in hell. People will be burning in hell. People will be singing in heaven. People will be having their fingers praising God in heaven. We'll walk the street of gold in New Jerusalem by being born again. A portion of you are dead if you're not saved. If you've never been saved or born again. Your tire is flat. Christ said, let the dead bury the dead. Luke chapter 9 verse 60. Now the body. Genesis 2, 7. And the Lord God creation, Lord God formed man, not evolution, of the dust of the ground. That's your body. Ashes, ashes, dust to dust. And eventually if you were taking a body that has been buried long, 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 long time ago. And open it up. Dust and dirt. 
That's what our bodies are. Pornography is the dressing up of dirt. Plain and simple. And breathe, breathe into his nostrils the breath of life, there's a spirit, and man became a living soul. So man was formed of dust of the ground, there's his body. God breathed into him life, like it was uh, in Ezekiel with the nation of Israel. There's the spirit, and the living soul. And that living soul never dies. So if you were to think, okay, I die and that's it. That's not it. When you die, you enter eternity. Now you'll enter eternity in heaven by uh, the death, burial, and resurrection that you believe that what Jesus Christ has done for us. Or you will enter into hell rejecting the finished work of Jesus Christ. Man is made by God Man is not, nor ever was, or will ever be an animal. The Bible says a living soul, there's your soul. God breathes in the breath of life, there's the spirit, and the dust is the body. Again, whether you're handsome or you're beautiful, whatever you are. You get your plastic surgery, you get your nose fixed, whatever you do, you're dirt. You just dressing up your corpse. Genesis 2.23 And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. There's the body. She shall be called woman. Because she was taken out of the man. Now God made a help me for the man called woman. Male and female. I don't care what you believe. A male has a penis and a woman has a vagina. Anything else, you need to be locked up. Adam said, bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh, there is no blood. God would record by the Holy Spirit if he had wanted to say blood. Because 1 Corinthians 15, 50, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither does corruption inherit incorruption. Here the Holy Spirit inspired Paul to say, flesh and blood. We will have no blood in heaven. We will have no blood in hell if you're lost. Flesh of flesh, bone of bone, flesh and blood. Words are very important in the Bible. That's why we we were warned not to add or subtract them or change them. And Jesus said in Luke 24, 39, Behold my hands and my feet. Jesus was a human. He's 100% God, 100% human. That is myself. Handle me. His body. See, a spirit has not flesh and bones. As you see. So if Jesus Christ resurrected, if he was a spirit, they wouldn't see him. Jesus Christ showed up with flesh and bones. But no blood. So when they say, uh, well, we'll get to that. Christ, the risen Savior, speaking to the disciples, says, in the context of Luke 24, 39, not flesh and bones, no blood. There was no blood. It was shed on the cross. The spirit is invisible. The body has no blood. And they saw and they touched the body of Jesus Christ after his resurrection. Do you believe that? You believe that when Jesus came out of that tomb, he was a body. So when some dumb Christians say Revelation 19:13 and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, 
His name is called the Word of God. The blood is Christ's blood. No, Jesus said flesh and bones with no blood. John 19.34, But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side, and forth came out blood and water. That blood that's on Jesus' clothing in Revelation 19, that is not, never will be his blood. And if your pastor, your Sunday school teacher, and says that, you need to get up and leave that church. Because that defiles the, the scriptures that we just read. The blood was poured out on Calvary. He's flesh. We will be flesh in heaven. We will be changed in a moment of a twinkling in an eye. But we'll have no blood. Most of your diseases are in the blood. There is no blood. Like Adam said, Jesus Christ is the last Adam. Like the first Adam, flesh and bones. Adam and Eve consumed the forbidden fruit and the blood appeared. I mean, we're not going to get into that. It's an entire different subject. However, the results of the internal death of Adam and Eve and all humanity is a dead spirit. Both body and soul are alive. But man born after Adam are dead spirit. You must be born again. Again, John 3, 4, 5, Nicodemus said unto him, How could a man be born when he's old? Can he enter the second time to his mother's womb of the water and be born? And Jesus said, Very, very, I say unto you, except the man be born of water, mother, that's Eve, that's your mom, that's your grandma, the dead spirit and the spirit of God, the living spirit, cannot enter the kingdom of God. So what about these AI? Th these artificial intelligent humanoids, whatever you want to call them. They haven't been born of water. Don't waste your time witnessing to an AI. They don't have a spirit. God didn't breathe life into an AI. He breathed life into a human. Genesis 5, 3, And Adam lived 130 years and begat a son in his own likeness after his image and called his name Seth. So Adam's son is in Adam's image a dead spirit, a living soul and body. You cannot be the image of God with a dead spirit for God is not the God of the dead but the living. So you're going around saying, oh, we are in the image of God. And if you're lost and going to hell, no way are you made in the image of God. Because you may have a body, Jesus Christ. You may have a soul, God the Father. But you've got a dead spirit. The Holy Spirit's a living spirit. And the fact is, how I am in the image of God is, I have a body. I have a soul. And I have the living spirit of the Holy Spirit because I have believed on Jesus Christ. I have put the gospel to belief. I'm born again. Colossians 3.10 And have put on the new man, not the old man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. So, in a way that you are the image of God is when you're saved. But you don't look like God. Again, what, what, what haircut does God have? Hmm? What skin color? Listen, I, I come from New London, Connecticut. And there's a church in New London That the stained glass windows are black. 
black people. And Jesus is black. He's not. He's Jewish. He's brown skinned. Now, is God brown skinned? No. You can't see him. So I hope this message has helped you out. And if you don't believe it, go back and read the scripture again. And if you don't believe it, you're wrong. Not me. Because I'm following the Bible. I'm following the word of God. 